Hi, I'm Willie the Pooh Bear, and I've watched the Avengers Age of Ultron trailers like 50,000 times. So I'm going to tell you the top five things I've learned from watching the trailers. Willie the Pooh Bear watches things like 50,000 times. Yeah. So let's get started. Number five is that I learned that there will be comedy in this movie, just like the last movie. Even though this movie has more of a serious tone than the first one, they're still going to keep the same formula of an action kind of comedy movie. But this movie does look a lot more serious than the first movie. Even just from the trailers themselves, there is barely any like comedy in it. And the little bits and pieces of it isn't like major, you know. So this movie is probably going to be like a more serious kind of movie, which is really what I want from this movie because Ultron is a very serious thing. You know, like Thor the Dark World, that bad guy was just like a, they just put him in all the comedy, you know. And Loki, he kind of has funny remarks and stuff. But in this movie, we want Ultron to be like, mm, there ain't time for no comedy shit in my movie. It's time to be serious because I'm Ultron. Woo! I really like Ultron. I'm sorry. I'm very hyped for Ultron. I'm sorry. Number four. The next thing I took away from this movie is that War Machine is shown one time, at least James Rhodes is. Now, that can mean either he's just not in the movie a lot or that he's going to die, which is what a lot of people think. A lot of people think that War Machine will be the one to die in this movie. Um, if he dies, that could be the thing that sets up Iron Man and his conscious and like his mindset for the Civil War movie that would make him clash with Captain America because maybe... His best friend dying is what will make him go to the deep end and then they'll be clashing, you know? But um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe all of us are wrong. And maybe he's just not in the trailers that much because they don't want to show him that much. Um, but he's in the trailer once. And the part that he is in the trailer is when Ultron kind of wakes up and goes like, oh, like this. When, which is, I think, is when Ultron might start being evil. I'm not sure. But if that is when he starts being evil and they show him in that one scene then that could be because he dies in that scene. Or maybe he'll get, like, very hurt or something. Maybe he won't die. But that's what I think, because there's a reason why they're showing him in that one scene and nowhere else. So that was my number four. Number three, which is also the third thing that I took away from the movie, Captain America's shield being broken. Now, why is this important? Captain America's shield is made of vibranium, which is one of the hardest metals in the entire Marvel Universe. This shield being broken is going to make the movie have a feel of dread and just an ultimate hype feeling for Ultron to make him feel like, wow, he is um, like super strong, you know? Captain America's shield has been broken before in comics, but in the movies it obviously has not been broken yet. And, you know, he throws it all over the place, you know? It's like an, un an unbreakable shield, but Ultron in this movie is trying to break the Avengers. So Captain America's shield being broken will symbolize it, well, will symbolize that that's what he's doing. Also, his shield will get fixed, which means that he has to get more vibranium from somewhere. They could use that to introduce Wakanda and Black Panther, but maybe they won't, because Wakanda would obviously have all the metal that he would need for any shield. But maybe, so maybe they'll introduce him like that, but maybe not. But anyways, his shield being broken is going to be the hypest thing, man. Ooh, I can't wait for this movie! Number two, which is the fourth thing that I have learned from these trailers. It's Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and their powers and how they will be used in this movie. They've shown Quicksilver a little bit. They've shown him running around and they showed him punching Captain America like boof, uh, in a very slow motion punch because Quicksilver is fast. Um, Quicksilver is one of the fastest people in comics in general. And um, him and The Flash did race in a crossover comic, and I think The Flash won. I don't remember. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, but if I'm right, then ha <laughs> ha, I'm right. Anyways, they also show Scarlet Witch a lot more. They show her using her mind-bending powers on Black Widow and on the Hulk. Well, I don't know if they showed them on the Hulk, but it's implied. Um, and that's going to make a very interesting characteristic because the Hulk will end up fighting Tony Stark in his Hulkbuster armor. And they will hopefully will have a very, very beefy fight. And it won't be all emotional. Hopefully it'll just be like boom ba, you know. Um, I don't and I don't know how they will get out of the mind control. Obviously that will happen in the movie, but like in the trailers there's no hints towards it, so that was my fourth takeaway, which is number two. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. The number one, 
which is the fifth thing that I learned, which if you watch my last video, this will be predictable, but the number one thing is vision. Yay! Vision is what I learned. His inclusion in this story will be very, very important because Ultron creates vision in a way to say, hey, I can create life just like Tony created me, you know, to show that I am just as good as these humans. But the thing is that he makes vision which, with artificial intelligence too, so vision will think for himself. Now, I did not explain vision's powers in the last video that I made, so I'm going to explain them now. Vision can create optic blasts with solar energy that he absorbs with his little gem that he has in the center of his forehead. Now that gem, if it is the soul gem, which would make sense because Vision does have a soul, is one of the gems in Thanos' Infinity Gauntlet, which will eventually be completed because there will be like the Avengers 3 two-parter thing, which will be Thanos and his Infinity Gauntlet versus everybody, which if they do it like the comics, People will die, but I doubt they'll do it like the comics because I don't think they're going to kill off people like that. But yeah, Visions is very important in this and it's going to be super good that he's in it because Vision is one of the coolest characters. So he can create optic blasts, he can shoot them, he can also fly, obviously. He can make himself kind of invisible and he can go through things, which gives him like a ghosty kind of appearance. Hence the name Vision, because he looks like he's just a vision or a shadow of himself. So yeah, those are the top five things that I learned from watching the trailer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope I'm not, you know, shoving in all this Avengers stuff at you, but I'm really excited for this movie. And this should be the last video about Avengers. So next week I should have a English dub song and another video. So yeah, that's about it. And, uh, you should like my Facebook page if you haven't already. And, uh, that's about it. And, uh, peace.